Hi there, Andrew C1D Paintball, and you're watching the first of five videos on uh, Commando Action D-Day 2022. Uh, the five battles that are featured in the third Expeditionary Force video, but this is more of a bite size. I mean, the videos themselves, the individual battles are pretty long, but instead of watching two hours and 45 minutes, you can get a bite size, just the individual battle here. Now, the audio is exactly the same as you'll find in the feature length. I did a little bit of, of, of color grading to make it look a little better uh, just because of the heat and the way the cameras were that day, use different cameras and the lenses getting fogged up. Uh, I just had to enhance, fogged up and just marked up. Uh, I did give a little bit of enhancements because there's some pix pixelization and stuff, which happens. Uh, camera two, the, and the stability isn't great at times on it. So uh, otherwise it's the same video itself. And I would like to comment before each battle, and this one is Battle Original Line, uh, what I thought going into it and after. So going into this one, 2019, Connor and I also had to start at the same area, go up and protect the town and Hamburger Hill. We didn't get there quick enough. We got pushed back and we just were in a poor position for the rest of the day because we we fell behind by so many points. Had a great day, but we just kind of tripped out of the gate. Now the other team, the enemy this time, this time around three years later, they're spawning from further back. We are well aware. A lot of guys who played in that game, which was the last game three years before, thank you for that COVID, uh, that we got to get there quickly. And a lot of us feel the same thing. We won't stop, we'll get there, we'll do it. Uh, they're starting further back, this should be easy. Last time we took a three-prong approach, one on the lower Hamburger Hill, one on the top ridge, uh, one on the top ridge line, like where the uh, covered bridge is, and the other one was gonna go through the forest. Of course, there's no, uh, I'm about to find out, there's no forest in it. But going into this, it's like, look, we're gonna concentrate, we're gonna get in there closer. We're gonna get a foothold of the town, better than last time. And, um, you know, we got a good chance of going ahead in this game early. Uh, that's how I went into this one and um, optimistic, but of course we just go out there to have fun. Uh, you take the big games a little bit more seriously, um, but again, it's all for fun. Uh, optimistic, let's see how it goes. We head out to the spawn point of our allied side, just finding out that the game in fact, instead of two games split by lunch where each team takes turns spawning from the beach, it will be one massive six hour game where participants will take any breaks whenever they like. While this may help the food truck isn't overwhelmed all day at once, it is something I myself and many other players didn't see and is an interesting twist to the game. And as we wander deeper into the spawn area, our general for the game, Tim Kordick, does a good job explaining a plan to the team. The plan Bravo outlines is similar to the one I had figured. Reach the town on a south prong over Hamburger Hill as soon as possible and emphasize establishing snipers to counter an enemy beach landing. He calls for the rest of the crew to pass north to take the covered bridge and penetrate through the north. What I don't know, and will only find out when I get there in a few minutes, is that a good part of the forest has been taken out of the game. So the three prong and wide north flank that the forest offered in my previous game there has been taken out of play. But this of course is for both sides. So no real advantage or disadvantage for either side, especially considering the enemy spawn has been moved back from this land bridge here to this one further back so we can hopefully avoid the catastrophic opening we had in 2019 when we spawned in the same spot and the enemy still took the town, Hamburger Hill, and the ridge line early on. There's too much ground for them to cover to repeat this. At least, that's what it seems. I like far right by the covered, yeah, by the container bridge or around the woods, you never know. Talking with Jay Dory, the commando vet who we got ready with alongside in the staging area 
and who gave us a few tips. We both have the same idea for our cruise, to take the north option. For myself, I know the speedball markers and the first strikes will be gunslinging into the town. I want to be part of a more tactical advance through the North Forest. Let's get up. Let's get up, boys. Woo! The hype of cheering as the final seconds before the start is in full gear. We help clarify the key rules about the medic, as this year you'll go to the medic and not the medic finding you, and we're going to identify where they are at the start so we can attack our areas with at least one in tow. Wait, wait, there should be four. So the medics come, you go to the medics this year. They don't come to you. That's that's huge. Yeah, can you get around the boat now? We position ourselves near the small opening where our entire team will pour into the field. This way, the main rushing south prong has a clear path and we can do the same to the north. No, they're just, just get, oh, they, they filled in the town quite a bit. We're going to the bridge! After many of us waited three years to play here, again, we are nervous and anxious. But a moment of levity as Connor spots a chipmunk on the hill in front of us. This little guy is about to have his peaceful day ruined by our game. A few jokes will follow as we wait for the start. <laughs> He's gonna make it. Hey, he's got a red armband. <laughs> oh, there's a chipmunk on the hill. <laughs> Fucking. <laughs> the poor ref. <laughs> We're going right. There's a covered bridge there. Oh, you want to? You want to? You want to? You want to get a foothold? Yeah, we want a foothold in the town. They're getting the town. Yeah. Okay. Get a hamburger hill, get in the town. If we see an opening, maybe we hit the forest. As the rest of my crew runs up, I follow, and a shield operator behind me hands me a pot I dropped. Oh, thanks. Although not really easy to see with the shaking of the camera as I run, Connor hits a divot and rolls on his left shoulder. For a brief few seconds, I think his day may be done. But when he springs up, the only damage is just some dirt and grass stains on his white t-shirt. Get up there! Get up there, boys! Our part of the group slows as we hit the bottom of the hill. We have a good presence already on top. Unlike 2019, I feel we've gotten to Hamburger Hill and Ridgeline in good time. Watch that path on the right, eh? I dropped the pod already. <laughs> Might have been me. So some guy like gave it to me right away. I'm about to position myself along with Connor and Alex at the bunker just before the covered bridge. We have teammates here already in the bridge, so at first I think we're going as planned and can push up. However, in the gully in front of us, we are already drawing fire, and to our left on the main town, it is already hellish, and it is clear, despite the longer spawn point for the enemy, we are once again overwhelmed at these key sectors. All we can do is hope that our teammates over at the town yeah. can hold up. Alex, I'm going to put this pod in your back here. 
Mr. Hey, whoa, 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 don't get hit, don't get hit. I'm just going to put this pot of drop on. Probably more than one. You beat the mule. I'm going down the hill. I'm going past, boys. Yeah, you yeah, party down here. Party up, boys. Watch the gully. Watch the gully to your left. With another vocal teammate approaching and noting to the others to hold the bridge, I've gone down the incline and I'm trying to get a group of us to push along the path to help secure the north ridge line. There's something up here. You see something red and black there? Shit, is that one of our, that might be one of our guys if we got the bridge. Yeah. Fuck, maybe that wasn't got. No, no, he would have seen me. Wolf, watch the gully. As it seems clear, the enemy has our advance stopped here. We are lucky enough to have Wolf alongside us, a player who has seen hundreds of games and probably thousands of hours of gameplay. He can help assess the situation. We may be in a little rough here but having a legend like him here is reassuring. And right now, more than ever, we need to stay calm, communicate, and work together. Head on the swivel, boys, head on the swivel. There is no more open ground where we are. That ridge line is the front line, and we need to carefully creep in and see what's going on, and then take action. Those are our guys. Yes, sir. Tu vois rien? I'm in front of the covered bridge. I try to use a walkie-talkie to communicate with Connor, Alex, and Thomas on my situation. They might have heard me, but I get no reply. No, no, that's just, he got hit. Huh? He got hit. It's not an injury. I carefully peer over the ridge and launch some shots at a bunker on the other side in the gully. And okay. then to my right, I spot a group of four enemies sprint to the right okay. side. Find a medic, they'll get you. Otherwise, you have to go away. Oh shit! <coughs> you have to go back because he had a headshot. Yeah. Now, to my right, I have two groups of allies of mine just peeking over the ridge like I am. There is at least one bunker I see on the ridge line, and enemy fire coming in from beyond it, impeding our advance. Hey, yellow. Gold. Gold. At the same time I got hit on the side of my marker, you can see another shot splashes paint on my camera lens. Marker counts hit? I asked teammates around me if marker hits actually count and unfortunately they do. So I'll have to find a medic. It is the first time I've been hit all day, but of course, it won't be the last. Medic! Hey, do marker hits, marker hits count? Fuck. As I carefully make my way down a steep incline and go to find a medic, I tell myself that I'll need to recruit some more players if we want to clear that west part of the ridge. Where's the 
Medic. You in a timeout? After a medic revives me, medic? I make do and wipe off my paint splattered markers with a leaf. It's improvisation here on the field. Now I'm going to try to let the players around me know we have enemies in the gully off the west ridge. But I also have an opportunity to hear how things are going in this area for the team. I'll soon give some support to a modest push. Guys, two guys in the gully just shooting on an angle up. They're just waiting for us. Sega. There's a guy camping. He's prone at the bottom, so he's looking for us. Let's go! I'm offering a little long ball support back here. But for the second time in a few minutes, in the distance, I easily see half a dozen enemies go right. They're sweeping right! Right! They're sweeping right! Watch our right side, buddy. I'll spot if you want, buddy. It was a long ball. Supporting a prone teammate ahead of me, I'm crouched low, firing shots to a distant bunker, hoping to cause some damage to the enemy side. In big games so many times, you don't really know where the shots that got you really came from. So I'm hoping to do this to an access player in the gully and bunkers below. Coming hard right, boys. It's a fuckload of them coming right. With all those players I saw go right, I go back down from my current position, in a way going back to the no, same no, spot I got hit, so I can counter that rising enemy presence there. They're pushing hard right. We got enough bodies there. No, they're pushing right. No, they got guys in the gully, but they're covering for their sweep. Are you out there? After a medic suggests I go left to the guts of Hamburger Hill, I slowly walk over to assess the area and even try to hail Connor. Then the reality is, on the left side, it's ugly. With open ground and long lines of sight, I am outgunned as far as my skill set if I go there. I'll soon find out it doesn't matter, as shockingly, the Axis side has taken the town. Fuck, do they have the town? Yes. You know what we need? They're pushing hard here and here. We gotta get some guys through the forest, flank them. After some time milling it over, I decide I'll try to get some teammates and push west through the forest path. But at this point, I'm not aware that not all of that area is even in play. I'm about to encounter Wolf again and another teammate. I see what might be the unthinkable this early on. Maybe the refs will throw a yellow gas to drive the access side back and let us back into the game. They got the town. We should go through the forest, try to circle them. Couple more minutes then. Then what, 15 minutes they'll drop the yellow if they're murdering us? No, the guy in the gully was shooting up and then they just ran around on the main floor. Hey guys. I was, I'm better now. Just find a medic. You can go to a medic as long as it's not headshot. They basically got two guys in the gully, and as they were, were shooting at them, they swept around here. They also got control of the town. I want to try the forest. Wolf says it's plugged. You want it? Do you want to put some numbers and group up? After meeting up with Connor again, and despite Wolf saying that the right side is plugged, I want to try to get some bodies and still give it a try. But it looks like I'll have to gather numbers myself, or at least try to. We 
got nothing through the forest, eh? Alex joins Connor and myself as we make our way down the forest path, wary of the ever-present enemy long balls dropping in. Yeah, watch the gully. Got the top. I think they got the top of the ridge, so if we try to go through the forest, yeah. Fuck, they got everything. Yeah. Long balls. Yeah, I tried long balling it, but the trees just won't let you do it. Shit, a couple going by there. I almost feel like you want to go to Hamburger Hill. I saw you took that dive, you okay? Oh. Boys. They got complete control on top on the ridge. So I don't know if we either try to punch them out there or squeeze them out on Hamburger Hill. It ain't fucking easy, but it's going to be fun. What? That's not out of bounds there? Yeah, no, but that wraps around it. I got smokes. Hey, guys. I've got some smokes if you're feeling fucking extra crazy. How many we got here? Fuck, I wish we had a medic. You wanna... Here's the thing, guys. Hey, you guys who know the field well. There's the tape and the boundary here. If we can smoke and just break through and get around them. Why not? Soon I'll finally find out the forest path ends just ahead, cut off by tape. But at least we have numbers that might be able to assault on the ridge. In the jungle on the boundary here, it's viable. My only worry is we have no medic. Although one is not far off, if one was right with us, this could be a very doable push. But for now, we're trying to assess the enemy position along the top to our right and what might lie beyond to the west. They got, they got us lined up big time here. Guys! Do you want to, you want to give it a, a push for them? Gentlemen! Oh fuck, where does the tape come up? Does it wrap around or does it stop? Fuck. Shit, last time it went straight a bit. Because I could smoke it, we could just go along that border. Let me see what we got. Fuck, last year it went through. God damn. I don't know. Last year it went through. This way you were able to snake around. I'll be honest, it's almost as if we have to go to Hamburger Hill. Hold up, hold up. You're going between there. Jog through it. So which bunker are they talking about? After speaking with other teammates, I went back to Connor, and I had out loud pondered going to Hamburger Hill, as this situation seemed poor. But Connor tells me the recon he just heard from a different teammate, that one bunker on the far west side of the ridge was empty, and we might have a shot at securing it. So now, my intention is solely to help this side. Get on top of the hill. <laughs> I grab some water awkwardly with my mask on while Connor complains about the mosquitoes. The calm before the storm. 
and as I peer to my right, I see some of our teammates positioning along the incline of the ridge. I'll direct Connor and Alex to go up on the ridge to my left as I go right and try to get some more intel on what's up. Shortly as I begin to talk to another teammate, Thomas makes an appearance, but he informed me he's just been hit, so he has to go find a medic. Watch the long balls here though. I was banking on, oh, I guess so. <laughs> Apparently there's the one bunker here, there's nobody there, but there's one in the middle that they're kind of spraying. I'd love to throw smoke and we push on it, but I fucking got to see where. Well, we should throw some numbers. If we get four or five guys to run, one of us may get there. I finally head back to the ridge and with more teammates than before, Time to get back into the fight. Somebody in that actual bunker? Yeah, they, I believe they got somebody just do a crossfire there. The enemy still has at least one player shooting across the ridge, meaning taking any of the bunkers to the right won't be easy. You guys want a bum rush? I got two fucking smokes. We should get a. You know what we need here is a medic. No, we get a medic, we just go back and forth. Behind the tempting bunker, just out of our reach, is an enemy one, further back down in the gully that we're firing into, trying to flush out any enemies who might be inside. Guys, are they in that bunker here? Or are they using it as a decoy? Okay. Do me a favor, I'm a bit tired and old. Take a peek for me. <laughs> oh, the ref! They won't shoot him! Blind fire! Don't blind fight! We were concentrating on the bunker to our right. And then an enemy who is hiding in the left one leans his marker out the doorway and blind fires at us. You want me to smoke him out? That could be funny. Oh, that might give him an actual escape, to be honest. And we can't fucking see him either. Hey! Boys! Fuck. Oh, you got him. Boys! Do you want me to smoke? We get a charge. Now the blind shooter gets karma and gets knocked out. But after, a teammate in white tells us to just move up. But I would rather smoke the area and try to push up. Without a medic, the enemy could easily cut us down. With at least some smoke to counter that enemy fire, we at least have a shot at trying to take the enemy bunkers. Fucking smoke went too far. First smoke of the day goes a little too far. I wanted to stay on top of the ridge and give us cover, but it kind of works out because the enemy bunker in the gully behind the ridge now has no line of sight on us. With the smoke helping conceal us, I'm able to peer over the ridge better, and I confirm to the teammate to my right that further down the ridge top to the right is an enemy like who has recently clock, taken right? out two of my other teammates who were literally sitting next to me. To my left, I have a good number of troops ready to go over the top, which includes Connor and Alex together. Is there anybody behind that wooden barricade? Yeah, we got, we got cover there. Lovely leather we're having today. Yeah. No, they did before we took him out, but he's lighting us up if we try to run there. Guys, we need to smoke them out because they got a guy who's picking us off there like a decoy. Fuck, let's get a medic here so we can bum rush them and respawn right the fuck away. Fuck, he's right in. Are you hit? 
Call it! Let him out! Go out if you're out! First in the bunker, if I... Hey, in the bunker! If you're hit, get out! So four enemies rush to the left bunker. I react slowly to the first, but then I get my first two kills of the day, hitting two of the other three. I do give the opportunity for the lead guy to exit if, in fact, he did get hit. I'm going to wait, keeping my marker lined up on the doorway to try to get the lone survivor in there. Granted, there is an additional player in there who clearly got hit, waiting for his opportunity to get out. But after waiting a while, I'll throw smoke to the doorway here and try to put pressure on the enemy player left inside to leave. Guys, Green, there's two in the bunker. I'm gonna throw a smoke on them. When they run out, fucking get them. Okay? You can try. That's all mom ever asked of me. Give it a try, she said. Another poor throw, to be honest. Had I gotten it inside the bunker, I'm sure the enemies would have both left right away with their hands up. But for now, we'll have to see if getting smoke just outside the doorway might make them panic. I've wasted a pod! Please let me hit you! Right in the neck. Back of the neck. Oh. I'm hit. Hit, boys, hit. Don't hit me again. I get annoyed after a while. They keep trying to take that bunker right ahead. You can nail two or three when they get This one here, they try to rush it all the time. We kill them, but then there's a guy on the right who keeps nailing us. When I moved slightly to my left of my position, it gave the enemy guy to our right an open shot at my neck, and I'm off to find another medic. Hey, ref, is my camera lens clean? Is my camera lens clean? Is the lens clean? A little smudge? Smile next time. <laughs> I did ask the ref to check my camera, but in his attempt to help cleaning my lens, it's actually smudged it a bit. Not a big deal. In a six-hour game, there are lots of breaks, so cameras, battery swaps, and to clean things up can be done throughout the day. Where's the medic? Medic! I'll run to Wolf again and tell him about our attempt to take the West Ridge Line before I then finally find that medic. We almost, we almost broke through right. The, the tape, instead of going across the forest this year, jets out. So they're keeping two bunkers empty. So we run up to get it and they're just hitting us with an easy flank. Yeah. Holy shit, what happened here? You guys retreat? They got us, they got us like... Yeah, left is dead. Now revived and on the way back to the West Ridge, I see a steady flow of my dead teammates coming back from that location as we got slammed not long after I left. They're pushing hard on the wall on the left. For a few minutes prior to recording this footage that's running now, I walk side to side along the back slope of Hamburger Hill it looks bad for us, but I decided to see if I could maybe find a teammate and try my luck at it. Fuck. If 
firing uphill through so many bunkers and different angles where the enemy can get me back isn't optimal. But with the medic not far behind me, I haven't got anything to lose. They're not poking the middle, they're poking along the tree line there, in here. <coughs> the enemy have the entire top of the hill in control. The middle gap towards the town doesn't have many of them, but the left and right sides are full, and they create a crossfire alongside the downslope we're on to make any approach from our side suicidal in small numbers. I mean, even with large numbers, it's a tall task. In fact, in a few seconds, I'll retreat back to regroup, preferably with more teammates. Now, after trying for a few more minutes at different bunkers at the bottom of the hill, I go for a quick water break. And when I get to the field again, I meet up with the rest of the C1D crew. You know what it's like, it just takes one. What? Sorry, man. I'm anxious to get hit again, let me on. Yeah, you know how it is, there's always one asshole, don't worry about it. It's a fucking disaster. The only, what do you think? I think the only way, there's a guy right on the tape line that just shoot. Yeah. Teammates looking for a medic are flooding back. We know there's a lot of time left, nice shade of yellow. but we're getting decimated and demoralized. But since we're all grouping here, and with the medics in tow, we can make a stand. Essentially, a last stand for all intents and purposes, because we haven't got much further to retreat to. The enemy's only point of advance here will be a charge from Hamburger Hill to try to wipe us out. Despite the dire situation, we are organizing well. Guys, let's follow the medic. Hey, medic, you want to go to the tree line on the right? No, we'll cover you. We got to fucking push on the right. You stay with us, we'll protect you. What do you guys want to do? fun nonetheless and with the crew together I pull out my phone to record a funny video and maybe get the guys loosened up enough to relax and get back into this match so on a scale of one to fucked how are we doing off the charts <laughs> all right I'm going back in there see what we got Watch it, he's Connor, he's on 11 here. Now they're long balling it. I go back to the low slope barriers as shots begin more rapidly. We can hear the enemy calling out to each other. Something will happen soon. But it seems everyone on our team, which clearly includes myself, isn't readying up properly. As I get hit one more time, I take a bit of a frustrated pause and get up to find a medic again. As I look for one, I spot Thomas and we discuss the situation before I finally get back to finding the medic. One's enough, boys. One's enough to hit me. They got control of everything. They got here, they're covering the top here and they got some wicked flanks on the side. I got, I got literally, I've been, I've been hit for almost directly behind when I'm facing the enemy. <laughs> right there. Yeah. So friendly old camera check. Your camera looks nice and clean. Is mine clean? Lens? Got a buffer? Any smudge? Thomas helping me clean my camera lens. It's kind of an analogy. Our team was literally in the fog for the past few minutes. And now with a clear lens, I see streams of our allied side going back to the West Ridge area to try to get back some ground. Now there are also a few coming back, which includes Connor and Alex. They need a medic, but this will allow us to party up again and get into the fight together. What? Don't go there. Don't go there. Medic's right here. Let's regroup. Let's go back at it. Back at it, boys. 
Back at it, boys. Let's do this. Now, I planned on going back to the West Ridge, but action and tension is building here along the back slope of Hamburger Hill. Things are going to explode again soon. We're massing troops on the right side here, just waiting for an opportunity to charge in. It's a matter of when and where, and we'll need full support of everyone. But the enemy just dominates the high ground, and what's behind the hill, well, we can't see, so it's also eating at us but we will soon start positioning ourselves up the hill in earnest. Oh boy. Didn't they drop it? Is it yellow? Is it mustard, mustard gas? It's blue? Oh yeah, it's blue now. Never been on the other side of the smoke. It sucks. All right. Medics behind there. I spam shots up the hill to the gap that leads to the town. I'm trying to prevent enemies coming back down that same side, and maybe longballing someone on the other side. Sanitize your hands recently, sir. They've got the high ground everywhere, literally. They got the, I think they're, I'm gonna take a wild guess that they're fucking uh, medics with them. Are we doing this? Are we retreating? An airstrike is called. We have to retreat from the hill once again, and the enemy is set up for a suicidal charge. I'm not retreating as far back as some of my teammates. With medics not too far off, I want to be close when the enemy charges in. They will take me out. But if there's as many as I expect, I can perhaps take more of them out first. And they do have a longer way to respawn, unless of course they put a medic at a huge risk charging down with them. There's been too much walking around, and I have to get my hands a little dirtier. I actually land a couple of shots to enemy players here, but that's just an appetizer. It won't stay this quiet for much longer. Straight ahead. I get taken out, but land hits on multiple enemies. It hasn't won the battle or anything, but I feel good. And while it's clear the last hour has not helped us overall in the game, especially considering it's from the start, there is a lot of road left to cover today. I will respawn, and as I do, our main group attacks the hill. Guys! 
guys! We got them on the ground! Here! After an hour, and with the adrenaline winding down a bit, I am getting tired. And as I walk along the bottom of the hill, I pass my teammates fighting and see them gaining ground. It's legit, look where the ref's standing sometimes, eh? I will soon spot enemies at the elbow of the ridge line here and a team and I will take care of them. Why the fuck not? Her medic's only 30 yards behind. Yeah? One guy to the right of the bunker. You got it. We knock out at least four more enemies, and while we don't take any ground ourselves, it allows our teammates on the hill to do such. They'll have four less enemies to worry about, at least for a short while. Oh, Jesus Christ, yeah, yeah, those are my nuts. Ah. I managed to get some more shots in at enemies near the top of the ridge line before getting taken out. But this time, again, getting tired, and knowing my teammates are doing well, I will walk off for a short break. As our general said, this is a marathon, not a sprint. As I sit in the secure netted area, I see my teammates rising up the hill. But in reality, this first battle has been a total access victory. We've literally just climbed this hill to end this phase of the battle. But if we have any hope of winning the day, it's a much bigger hill to climb. All right, so, um that was Battle of the Ridgeline. Um, a disaster? Not being over dramatic. All about fun, all our videos are. But I like to take a more serious approach or take a little serious edge to these uh, big game videos. Especially to a two hour 44 minute, 45, whatever it was, uh, final product. Um, it was a disastrous start. So after this first battle, I only play for fun. It's like, okay, we'll see what happens now. But in my head, it's like, man, things are going to have to dramatically go in our favor the rest of the day because it's been a little over an hour. And they effectively held all but, I think, one, maybe two slapsticks for an hour. That's a lot of points. So um, I'm wondering after this first game, like, I saw a lot of good teamwork and we got together later in that first game. So uh, had had up to about 45 minutes into it, we didn't seem to be organized. I didn't know if we could organize. But then I saw little pockets of players here and there starting to organize things. And I felt as as down as we were that optimist like well we can chip away at this and make it respectable honestly i thought i didn't think we could make it all the way back i'm going to this thinking it we're too far back but let's see what we can do let's see if they get complacent and chip away and make it look better on paper than uh than where we're heading right now so that's it for this one uh the next video will be the battle of sunken road and um yeah Thanks for watching. 
uh, maybe you don't know about the bigger version of this of this uh, D-Day event. It's a feature-length um, uh, video, and I will have the link uh, in the description. So, um, yeah, and if you actually watch that and you're watching this one instead, let me know what you thought of the more bite-sized version of it, um, because I do want to make another video next year, and uh, your comments and thoughts are appreciated.